go slow, I fall behind. The second hand unwinds. If you're lost, you can look and you will find it. Time after time, if you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Time after time, after my picture fades, darkness has turned to gray. Watching through windows, wondering if I'm okay. Secrets stolen from deep inside. Drum beat out of time. Time after time, if you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Time after time, time after time. If you lived through any part of the 80s, you would know that this is Cindy Lauper hair. Cindy Lauper that sang, girls just want to have fun, and I see your true colors, that's why I love you, so don't be afraid to let them show, I see your true colors, that's why I love you. She kind of sang out of tune and kind of said Cindy Lauper, but um, this is her awesome hair, here's some graphic 80s eye makeup that I thought was really fun, yellow, reds, blue, um, all of this apparel was in my closet, cause I love the 80s, yes I do. I also did makeup for the show I Love the 80s on VH1, which is very fun. But I don't even know if it's on the air anymore, but I did it and I love the 80 facts that they would talk about. Um, what else? These are fun little bloody things I got at the casting store. And these I got at like Walmart or something, they were like just a few dollars. But everything else is mine. So I'm going to show you guys my whole outfit. This is so fun, like I just want to go and have a dance party in my living room. Bye! Here's our 80s eye. We're going to work on doing the other eye first. I'm going to show you what we use first. And you're going to get any kind of light sky blue pencil. This is light blue for MAC. I already primed my face and did my face like normal um, foundation. So I'm just gonna go color underneath here. Kind of go all the way up here. And then it looks really smooth and not yucky. And yucky. So we're gonna blend this in. Kind of Smurfy blue, that was another 80s cartoon. I grew up in the 80s so I have um, an affinity for all things 80s. Um, next we're going to take, uh, this is Radium from Urban Decay, it's their cream color, and we're going to make a sharp angle, so if you don't trust your skills at making an angle, you can just take a piece of paper and a hard edge, and you can hold it, we want this to go up to our eyebrow, so I'm just going to kind of set it there, and I'm just going to kind of color this line in, it's kind of a mistake proof way to doing it, and then we're going to fill this color in all over the rest of the eyelid. You can just use the little wand too. And then we want this shape to go up in a real kind of defined arch. Need a little more. to go all the way out to the eyebrow. So now we have the blue all on that eye. And our sharp 80s angle. 80s are all about sharp angles and graphics and spheres. Where's my remote? You ready for blues? Blues, blues! Um, this is Fashion from MAC. I think it's a limited edition, but just kind of shimmery light blue. And this is a turquoise color. It's number 72 from Makeup Forever. So I'm going to take this light blue and our fluffy brush. Also, you can take, this is CoverGirl. This is the Cafe Ole set. I'm going to take this lightest white color. And I'm going to go all the way up in here in the corner. And just kind of get this crease real light. Now we're going to take our baby blue and we're just going to dab this under the eyebrow over that light powdery blue that we just did. Take a little more of our white, put that in the corner, dab a little over here, and then go down. Now we're going to take our turquoise blue with my turquoise blue brush. Where are you, brush? Man. Oh, 
flat brush. Now we are going to go over this. This is Steamy for MAC. It's kind of like a more teal color. And I'm just going to go slightly over the edge in between the light blue and the dark one we put on. And I'm going to put a little bit of this in the inner crease. Then I'm going to take this is a lime green from MAC. Any lime green will work. And I'm just going to get a little tiny bit of this. And I'm just going to put it right here in the inner corner and then dab it slightly in the front right here a little more over there okay now we're going to take some white with our fluffy brush, any white will do, and we're going to go right under the eyebrow, just so this will have a little bit more contrast kind of pop. You can go down there a little bit. Now we're going to do the fun part. So I'm going to take my Makeup Forever The Flash Color Palette, and I'm going to take the yellow, and we're going to do a cool little triangle right here. And you want this line to go straight out because your red is going to come down there. So we're going to just follow this straight edge all the way up to where the eyebrow is going to come down and blend out. Now we're going to take our yellow. I keep a little paper towel so I can wipe off some of my color, just like as if you're a painter. Um, this is yellow from MAC. And I'm going to dab that right over the yellow I just put everywhere. Then I'm going to take a little bit on my finger, and I'm just going to dab and kind of smudge it out. I'm also going to take an orange from MAC, any orangey tangerine will do, and I'm going to go right along the blue line right there, and kind of this inner corner so it looks real warm and hot in the center and then comes out. I'm going to go back with another yellow. This is Bright Future from their the Amazon collection. And I'm going to go over the yellow. I can take this and pat that yellow again. Now we're going to take a red and I'm going to use a lip liner. This is just like a red lip liner and I'm going to go under the eye. Pretty thick. Going to the corners. And then you're going to draw a straight line under that yellow that you just did. And then just taper it. Okay, then we're going to take your uh, red or hot pink lip liner. And you're going to just do a line underneath and then kind of make it go downward. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to make it pretty thick. And then I'm just going to go... Slightly down, go all the way out, and then kind of straighten out. We're filling this curve right here. And then we're going to go over it with a hot pink angled brush. Here's my angled brush, and I'm going to use blush for this. Yes, blushes can have many purposes. All my blushes are falling. Yeah. Hot pink and then this kind of brick red color. I'm going to tap it in the hot pink, then in the brick red. And I'm just going to go right under there. Go over that line, turn it around so we get kind of a light 
more faint look. And then color. Now we're going to curl, no we're not. Time for the famous black liner. Line the inner rims of the eye. And then I'm going to take some liquid liner and do the tops. Liquid liner, any kind will work. And I'm just going to start at the inner corner. And not go all the way to the end, kind of where, where your blue ends. And I'm kind of going to go up. Okay, now it's time to put on our mascara. So for lips, I have two fun colors. These are Aqua Lip from Makeup Forever, basically a hot pink and an orange. It's 16C and 17C. So I'm gonna draw over our lips first with the orange. Ta-da! Here is our look with our blue eyeshadows, super graph, yellow, red, and blue our um, mod lips, and all of this stuff was totally in my closet. It was so amazing. I had everything except for these hand warmers, and I don't know why I turned into like a Cindy Lauper belly girl, but I totally did. Cause girls just wanna have fun. 